his job. His, okay. Yeah, and that's the word of God. Okay. God so is. I pray. His yeah. Job, his job is restored. Okay. Yeah, he's in a season. God is really hedging him. And he's, he's in some battles, but he's. They're not the type of battles that will hold him. They're the type of battles that he's coming out of. It's a sign of some fighting to try to keep hold on him. Amen. And uh, somebody pray. I moved in the realm of the spirit, and I quickly saw him. Because this was very quick, very swift. I'm trying to capture it as the angel of the Lord is taking me through school. And I went through school. I'm just going to tell you what I see. I went through school. I saw a problem there. And I saw his spirit resisting the Lord. And it's almost like he's on a path that is, that is resisting some things that the Lord wants to do. I went through those places. I'm walking through this court. I'm trying to determine, is this a college area or a vocational place? She works at a college. Somebody say prophesy. prophesy. I'm in his job. Do you see that? The angel of the because angel of the Lord grabbed my arm and took me real quick. Just like that. I'm standing there. While I'm standing here, I'm going to pray. Because while we're here, this is the current job. I'm moving to ask the Lord if this is where he wants him. Because if it's where he wants him, I'm going to put oil on the walls of this corridor. But the angel of the Lord is telling me he's been resisting the Lord and is not in favor of this place. But there's another place. There's some things that the Lord wants to do for him. There's another place of vocation or training Something that the Lord is, has reserved for him. Help me, Lord. Even if this place is restored to him, if it's restored to him, it's a place for him to go through. It's not a place for him to remain. He's in transition. Amen. There's things around him that are opening for a lot of the attack. Uh, is there someone named Katie? Katie or Kat Catherine or Katie? Is it Kayla? Who's the Kayla? That's just, oh, somebody say prophesy. Kay okay, Kayla. I'm just hearing the angel. I'm just listening to him. And intercessors, make sure you pray because it'll clear my atmosphere a little bit. I'll be able to hear some things clearer. I want to pray for, for the Kayla. Also, and God is, even as the Lord is securing him, he's securing her as well. In Jesus' almighty name. God has the family. Now, let me tell you what the angel of the Lord is showing me before I close out this prayer. He's one of the ones that God is lassoing. Amen. He's one of the ones that God is lassoing to hitch him in. Yeah, he's a stubborn, he's stubborn. I see his spirit. He's stubborn. But God will give him opportunity. And I see the Lord say your spirit is strong in him. The spirit that's in you is strong in him. Because you see him going through things even that you went through. Amen. <laughs> You've trained him in the way that he should go. And he shall not depart from it. In Jesus' name. It is so. Even though he comes through fire and flood, God will bring him into a wide open place. Lord, secure the, secure the place around him. Bless him. Touch the family. We thank you. You're touching Kayla, the daughter. You're touching her. In Jesus' almighty name. Give this house what they need. Shoo. Secure. 
and we arrest right now. I arrest that spirit, even in place where certain things are allowed to remain. I hedge around him, put a hedge around him, and I bind that spirit. You have no permission to go outside of the boundaries in the name of Jesus until everything in this atmosphere is secured. I set parameters right now and let everything be exposed in this season. Let not one thing remain hidden in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, give her what she needs an intercession for the house. My goodness, fire, Jesus. My goodness. Y'all see that? 